Oh, I'm sorry, did you think Ichigo was the coolest character in Bleach? Baka. The gang finally face some ramifications for all the crazy shit they get up to downtown when some unfortunate television footage proves that the previous episode wasn't just the sideshow carnival caramel apple induced fever dream that we were sort of expecting it to be. This is made doubly damned clear in the manga when Don San pops by Ichiko HQ to see his new bestie. But that can't happen until the students escape detention, so in a move worthy of a Princess Peach solo game, Rukia saves everyone by crying. And now, with the second astounding feat of observation in five minutes, rumors abound regarding Rukia. Ichigo and the third cut from Will Smith's 1997 debut solo album. But no time for gossip, we got ghosts to kill. Except no, I guess we don't, because now it's gone, but that's what you get when you buy your cell phone coverage in a TV and internet bundle package. Whiplash flashback to high school like I do sometimes in some of my shittier dreams, and it turns out this cast of delinquents is a hell of a lot smarter than we ever gave them credit for. Goes to show you never can judge a manga by the synopsis on the back cover. Out of a class of 322 students, the scoreboard stands at Ichigo, 23rd. Chad 11. Orihime. 3. Wait, fucking. But the bragging rights go to some dick named Ishido, which probably isn't important at all. The manga takes the time to treat us to a bit of an explanation for our bad boy's good grades. See, between his hair, his attitude, and his everything else, his senpai and sensei tend to paint a target on that omni scowl of his. So he studies just to spite them, and if that isn't the most beautiful goddamn punk shit you've ever heard, then you can go right ahead and like and subscribe this video. But bleep bleep, it's Mighty Morphin Hollow time again, and our heroes are so psyched they don't even know notice that the camera slows down when they pass by glasses chan The drive-by is a bit more hype in the manga, with two full pages of negative space utilized so brilliantly they damn near define the Japanese concept of ma. When we finally reach the hollow, there isn't one because shit, that's right, we haven't resolved this problem yet, but we won't have to wait long because everyone's favorite volume 4 cover boy gives us some quick introduction to the Quincy. And a hell of an introduction it is. He's got the shine on those anime glasses, which helps him sense the hollows a lot better than Ichigo can, and oh, I guess there's this. So if you thought Bleach was unique in the fact that there wasn't a cute rival boy, well you're about to look real silly. The volume ends during a commercial break, which is pretty convenient I guess, and I think it was about now that I started realizing how expensive this love affair was gonna be. Ichigo reminds us after the break that despite his impressive academic track record, he's still quite of a bit of a dumbass and doesn't realize that the last main character is in his classroom. Our typical anime first-in-class glasses boy, Ishida, is a not-so-common glasses boy craft genius and wrist model. Ichigo fails his stealth check after school and tries to to play it off like he doesn't care, but you know damn well he does. Just to ruffle those bleach orange feathers some more, Ishida lets drop the knowledge that he knows Ichigo and Rukia are soul reapers like old oh, damn. We finally get to see some good soul ribbons again, and we so learn that soul reaper soul ribbons are soul red, and oh, it's like that shitty ending song, get it? Glasses Chan challenges our boy to a <laughs> duel. But before we get the deets, we gotta cut across town to fill in some much-needed retroactive backstory. These cheeky konbini cashiers were around at least 200 years ago, and so was a now-extinct sort of secret society thingy a bit like the Masons, except they actually did things instead of just building abandoned not churches. And while Soul Reapers cleanse hollows by cutting their face in half in order to send them to heaven or what the fuck, Quincy's were a lot more like that one guy at the land party who wasn't really your friend but was a friend of one of your friends and only ever wanted to play the maps where they knew all the camping spots. Which brings us back to that staircase case from the Joker movie, where Ishida officially challenges our boy to this dick-measuring ghost contest, and if you want my opinion, Ichigo doth protest too little. Tune in next time, because, I mean, seriously, are you gonna stop now? This shit's amazing, and it's only gonna get dumber from here. Quincy might also refer to The City in Massachusetts, or The American Mystery Medical Drama Television Series from 1976.